Hey, Rob with Three Strong here. Yesterday, I partially answered the question, what should I do when I go into the gym? And I um, told you that it's a good idea to look at the athletes, the sports, and the activities that you want to do to give you a better idea of how to formulate a training program so, so that you can reach your goals that much faster. And it gives you a little bit more purpose. So I also mentioned this, or I showed you this little chart here. Well, I'm going to explain what that is right now. Our bodies are very adaptive, and whatever we make it do, it's going to do its best to make that change so the next time it comes up, it will be that much easier. When we're working out, what we want to do is either improve you know, our muscle mass, improve our strength, our speed, our endurance, and, and everything in between those qualities. Well, this is called the repetition continuum. On the left there, you see that we have the quality of strength. On the far end, we have the quality of endurance, uh, more in, importantly cardiovascular endurance. And then in between, we have a variation of each of those qualities. So on the spectrum, moving from left to right, we have strength, we have power, we have hypertrophy, which is muscle mass. This is where a lot of the bodybuilders um, kind of land. Uh, we have muscular endurance. And then as we get to the 1,000 plus, this is hundreds, thousands of reps. Now we're more in the cardiovascular endurance end. If you look at these numbers here, these numbers represent repetitions. And these aren't, you know, you, you can do one repetition of anything, but these numbers are dictated by the weight or the amount of resistance. So one means... Um, you have such a weight that only allows one rep. So this is your max lift for whatever it is. These, these could be body weight exercises. These could be barbell lifts. This could be picking up something. Doesn't really matter. Whatever allows you to do one repetition. And then as we move toward the right, the resistance goes down, which then allows two reps, three reps, five reps, 10, and all the way up to thousands of reps. And once we're at that type of resistance, and doing the certain number of reps, we are going to develop these different qualities. So if I'm on the left end of the spectrum, lifting close to 100% of my max, then I'm going to develop qualities of strength. And then as I start moving over, I'm going to develop qualities of, of power. And power is really just the explosive expression of strength. And then hypertrophy, like I said, it is the muscle mass. I will mention this, it's very difficult to improve qualities on the right side first and then move your way left. It makes sense that if I get better at one rep, then I can extend that out to two reps and three reps and five reps and so on and so forth. And if I challenge myself at those weights and, and develop um, you know, the qualities of strength and power, then I can just extend that out to more to uh, the endurance end of the spectrum. A lot of times what people do is they say, oh, I'm gonna get stronger, I'm gonna do this class, it's called a strength training class, and then they pick up a 10 pound barbell and they do multiple reps. They do just you know minutes and minutes, if not an hour of these weightlifting exercises. Well, let me tell you this, and then I'll let you think about this for a little bit, is that Look at this end of the spectrum. We have 20 reps, 50 reps. Now we're in the muscular endurance end of it. We really aren't, we aren't necessarily getting our muscles stronger if we're lifting weight that allows us to do hundreds and hundreds of reps. So if you want to develop qualities of strength, we need to challenge ourselves a little bit more. All the time in the gym, we see people that are going very light, doing a lot of reps and then they wonder why they're not getting stronger because the resistance isn't enough to be able to develop those qualities. And so it's much easier to develop these qualities first and then extend that out. And not to say that, that you, you can't do a mixture of, of these things over the course of multiple workouts. So. I'll let you think about that repetition continuum there. You can actually find them online if you just type in repetition continuum. And uh, you will see this chart. This isn't anything I made up. But get into the gym, think about this, and I'll see you tomorrow.